Hey, this is Chad Ferguson, LearnToCatchCatfish.com, and I'm going to show you today a product that I just recently started using called a Berkeley Portable Lines Fooling Station. I just recently had about half my fishing reels cleaned and serviced, and I need to re-spool all these reels with fresh fishing line because I stripped everything off when I pulled all these reels out of service to clean and, and maintain. I wanted to go ahead and put fresh line on them. So I have my Berkeley portable line spooling station here. Have a roll of offshore angler tight line, 20 pound test fishing line, and a big pile of reels. And I'm gonna go through here and show you how to use this Berkeley portable line spooling station. So this is the line spooling station. And as you can see here, everything stores away nice and neat inside of this product. Just gonna loosen up this little nut here and rotate this around and this little arm will come out of here for store, from the storage area. And this goes, let's see here. Every time I do this, I do it the wrong way. Down inside of here. This product also comes with a uh, Berkeley line stripper. If you don't have one of these, this is a great little tool. This one is actually a little different than the one that I've bought in stores. I haven't put any batteries in this yet um, because I've got another one actually out in uh, my shed. But uh, this is a great little tool for stripping fishing line off of reels. Also has a little hook sharpener here on the end of it. I don't ever sharpen hooks because uh, most of the hooks that you buy nowadays are chemically sharpened and don't really need any sharpening other than, than what they come with. So I'm gonna take my line here, now that I have this assembled, and put my spool line on here. Now one thing that I will say that I have found so far about this product that I do not like is that I typically buy very large spools of fishing line and it would not accommodate these large spools of line. So I had to go to a quarter pound spool of fishing line for that purpose. So what I'm doing here is just tightening this up. I should have left that line taped down is tightening these little deals up here so there's plenty of tension on that spool of fishing line. And I'm gonna wind this back up here. Make this a little bit easier so I don't have all this excess line that I'm working with. Anytime you're spooling a fishing reel, you always wanna make sure with a bait casting reel that you're spooling over this way onto the reel, not under and onto the reel. So I'm going to put my reel here into the reel seat on the reel spooling station and just tighten this down. And then I'm going to go ahead and run my line here through my line guide on my reel and wrap it around my spool this is the hardest part of the whole process is getting my big hands down inside of here the easiest thing I find to do with these is just to tie a real simple slip knot like this and then you can just pull on this line and tighten it up real good I always fasten my line to my reels that way and then cut that off. Alright, so now that I'm all set up, I've got my, my line on here, I've got my line affixed to my reel, running through my line guide on my Garcia 6500 C3 and I'm just going to go through here 
and turn this and continue to sp spool this fishing reel up. I used to always run a pencil through the spool of fishing reel and hold it with my toes in between my feet and this is definitely a lot more comfortable than doing that. Okay, so now I've got this reel completely spooled here and I'm just going to uh, cut my fishing line here and remove this reel from the spooling station. And what I like to do is just tie a little knot here in the end of this line. Just a simple overhand knot double it up here with a little loop in it and I just put my line around the bottom of the reel foot here and secure it nice and tight like that that way I don't have to worry about it coming loose before I put it on my rod all right so again this is called the Berkeley portable line spooling station and you know it comes again with this line stripper. The line stripper alone, if you buy this separately in a store, costs about fifteen dollars, I believe, maybe ten dollars. And uh, but it is included with this product. It's got an instruction sheet here on the bottom of the product, so you don't have to worry about keeping up with that. I think overall, it's a, a great product. I really don't have any complaints about it at all. It's definitely made spooling my fishing reels much easier as you can see everything folds back up stores nice and compact here inside of the spooling station and the only com complaint again that I have about it is that it would not accommodate the larger spools of uh, fishing line that I typically use because the hole here in the center of the line was too big. So I'm actually going to take a wooden dowel and see if I can find a wooden dowel that will fit down inside of there that I can drill a hole straight through and see if I can hack this thing so it will accommodate those larger schools of fishing line. Full review and more tips and tricks on fishing for catfish, go to learntocatchcatfish.com.